Good morning, Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you again for our worship moments with Terrence. I hope that you guys had a great week last week, and I pray that you guys have an even greater week this coming week. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, and more importantly, happy Easter. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad. I have a special guest today for our worship moments. Come here, Pipe. So this is my beautiful baby girl, Piper Sage. She is going to help us out today. And the reason that she is looking at my hand so hard is because I have treats in my hand. And that's that's important because that's basically what our lesson is about today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the thing that Piper loves more than me are treats. She loves treats more than any anything in the world. She would do anything for a, a treat. So she's sitting right now. So if I told her to come here, she would come here. If I told her to sit, she would sit. If I told her to spin, she would spin. If I told her to go up, she would go up. If I told her to lay down, she would lay down. If I told her to give me paw, give me paw. She would give me paw. So she would do anything for a treat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. I can come up with something crazy. And she would probably try to do it for a treat. But you know the crazy thing? So dogs are are really selfish. They don't, she's not listening to me because she respects me like that. I mean, maybe she is, but she's listening to me because I have a treat in my hand. That's the reason why she's paying attention to everything I'm doing. Come here, fight. Sit. So she knows that if she listens to me, then there is a very, 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 very high chance that she can get a treat. And like I said, they do it for selfish reasons because when we first train a dog, that's, that's how we get them to understand that what they're doing is good by listening because we give them a treat. So anything she does, we reward them. So if she gives me a paw, then we reward because that's good. That's what we want them to do. Um, and then nine times out of 10, if I didn't have any treats in my hand, then she probably wouldn't be listening as much as she's listening now because she's a pretty stubborn dog. But anyway, let's keep going. So I was thinking when I was uh, preparing for the lesson, I was thinking that, you know, sometimes that's how we treat God, um, which is very, very wrong. You know, sometimes we do nice things and sometimes we do nice things for other people. Sometimes we read our Bible more. Sometimes we pray more because we know that we want the reward. Sometimes we don't always do it because that's what we're supposed to do. Sometimes we do it because we just want the reward for it. Um, but that's not how God wants us to love him. You know, whether we're having a good time or whether we're having a bad time, whether we know we're going to get a reward or whether we don't know, we should still do everything that we can in order to please God and serve God. So whether you know you're getting the new house or the new car or the new job, we should still we should still do what we're supposed to do because we are God's children. In Job uh, chapter 1 verse 21, it says that the Lord gives and the Lord also takes away, which means that with, regardless of whether good things happen or bad things happen, we should always do what we're supposed to do. We should always give God the praise, the glory, and the honor because that is what he's doing. And we are God's children and we are God's people and we're supposed to abide by the rules that he left for us. I hope that you guys enjoyed this worship moment. Happy, 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 happy Easter again. Happy Easter again. I hope that you guys have a great day. Love y'all.